Da -da 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 -da. In the rap game. Cardi B, Nicki, Females. Megan yeah. Thee Stallion. Um, I say to you? Uh, I can't really say. <laughs> Not a Cardi B fan? <laughs> I have a, no, but you know the reason why I can't say is because I feel like they're all rapping about the same thing. And I don't feel like that. I don't think they're showing us who's the best rapper. I think they're trying to show, for me, um, it's, it's like strippers rapping. And I don't, I don't, as far as rap goes, I don't, I'm not getting who is the best rapper. I'm getting like, okay, you got a story about you dancing in the club. You got a story about you dancing in the club. You got a story about you dancing in the club. Okay, all right, who's getting ready to, who's gonna be the rapper, so. Like, you know, what does he think about the current state of female rap? And his thing is like, yo, it's just like a bunch of strippers rapping. Like, no one's out here trying to be the best rapper. Okay. So he said, so that she said, so who's one of you So he's saying he don't know who's the, because I'm a little lost. I like, just judging by the current landscape of female rap right now, he feels like most of the female rappers out right now are rapping about the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, he says it just sounds like a bunch of strippers rapping. You know, you think back in the 80s, you know, like, you know, early 90s, Cats was, like, trying to be more lyrical with it. You had MC Light barring it up. You know, you had Brat barring it up. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Bahamadia. But, you know, different levels of success right there. Mm -hmm. But, like, right now, when you look at the Megan Thee Stallions of the world, the Cardi B's of the world, Mm -hmm. Some of Nikki's stuff. Mm -hmm. um, City Girls. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And part of the DNA, which you helped create. Yes. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So I got to step in strong with this comment. Yeah, uh -huh. so, <laughs> so, so, so what's your take on it? Because so there I, are a lot of people who are not rapping like they're strippers. Yeah, wait, because I don't get the whole strippers thing. Like, what do strippers got to do with like, a bunch of strippers rapping? Because I don't think um, City Girls, Carisha's not a stripper. She never was a stripper. Like, I don't, I don't really understand that part. What I would say, though, is this. Like, you have... All, don't try to knock the women that's coming up that's out here doing their thing. Like it was a it was a vague blank dead spot. It was like Casper the Ghost on female artists for a moment for a couple of almost a decade. Mm -hmm. Now that these girls are coming into the game and doing their thing, um, I don't really feel like they should really focus so much on what they rapping about. Rap about what your life is, what's happening in your life. These are young girls. They having fun. They doing their thing. They out here traveling, getting their bag, securing their bag. They talking about what they see going on, clubbing, partying, getting fly back. Bags, securing the bags, like dudes being goofy, whatever, whatever is in your life, you can't. That's what you're talking about. You're not talking about Bible study if you're not. That's not what you're doing. You're not talking about being a lawyer if you're not going to school to be a lawyer. You're not talking about being a judge. You're talking about life, the lifestyle, having fun, doing your thing. And don't get me wrong, I'm listening to these girls. I'm listening to these songs. I'm like, you can't. The city girls. I mean, you got number one hits on the record yeah. right now. I mean, and, and it's a genre that comes from under me. It comes from Miami, so they're bound to win. Like when I think of it, it's like me all over again, starting 1998. So of course I'm gonna support. It all the way 100 when I hear them talking yeah it's raw it's raunchy unapologetic it's, it's saucy it's not about trying to be the next bard lyricist or the everybody don't want to be Jay-Z mm -hmm. everybody don't want to be lyricist of the year people just want to have fun and that's the problem because believe it or not what are these guys talking about the same thing Drugs, sex, money, guns, shooting, banging girls, getting on high. They, what, so what are they talking about that's so different than what the females are talking about? Girls are not talking about, they're talking about having fun, twerking, shaking their butt, having a good time. They're young. You're young girls under the age of 30 years old. What do you want them to talk about? Like, you want to have fun. You want to be in the lively of having fun. The kids, when I think about it, first of all, men don't count. Women and kids are the ones that support and by music. It's not True. men. And that's always been that way since I started out. That was the one thing I learned when I first signed to a label. When I look at my niece, now that's 14, it's a whole replica of everybody that followed me when 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 I came out that age. All they want to hear is these this music, fun, having a good time, dancing, partying, twer whatever. Nobody want to be sitting up here like they're in Sunday school talking about he got the best bars and spitting 16. Nobody want to do 16 bars no more. Okay, 12 bars and we done with that. Right. So let's be very clear. The times have changed. Atlanta is the biggest change of music from the Migos, the whole culture. Everybody, it's not even... It's I hear people call it mumble, whatever they call it, rap, rap or whatever. But when you in the club, just think about it. If you're not in the in if you're not in it in the game, when you're in the club, when you're in your car, when you're having fun, when you're at a party, you don't really wanna hear so serious that puts you in a depressed or like you don't no one wants to think in the club nobody wants to be thinking oh my god life is so serious i have to hurt and get this done my mortgage is going to be due you want to have a good time you want to have a good vibe you want to be in a good moment and that's what the music is i right do feel now. like the issue is the commercial landscape mm -hmm. is a little one dimensional because yes. there are other people out there who have something else to say. Lizzo should get more support from black radio than she does more white people support Lizzo than black people yeah, and i love her i mean she's dope and uh, talented, Tierra like... Wack, you up on her what was her name tierra Wack out of philly 
I never heard of her. And I love Tr Philly. Trina, Crazy. She nuts. You would love Sarah her. Whack. I gotta you would love her. I gotta go check out. I'm always looking for the new girls, the new whatever. I don't care what they're talking about. Like just the new mm -hmm. music, new energy. Like what is it? It doesn't have to be the same type of music. You don't have to be talking about party music, but whatever it is, like you gotta just these girls are creating it online. Of course, a lot of it is similar. I mean, it's women. We only it's only a certain amount of stuff that's gonna happen in a woman's life. You either got a bag, you secure it. It's about a dude. It's about love. It's about your girlfriend. Somebody crossed you. You talking about shoes, clothes, fun. You talking about life. You talking about having a kid. You talking about a baby daddy night there. Whatever you want to talk. These are life experiences, though, and you have to allow people to go through that. Maybe in five years they the subject change. Maybe they'll be talking about something else because they have to go through. And this is what I was trying to explain the whole thing. What I'm saying with trick. Same thing with me. I it's not the same as when I did then. I don't. Some of the stuff I don't even care to re. I don't even care to go back to that mm -hmm. because I've already grown so past and I'm already way over here. It may be great. Like some of the records I perform, like I'd be like, whoo, I don't even want to do this record. But when you drop in the club at my show, the crowd go crazy. You have to do it. It's one of those kind of things. So you have to just give people enough time. These most of these artists have been in the game for a year, two years, three years. Like you got to give them time to grow, evolve. Like you know what I mean. Put their feet down. Get their first. Some don't even have an album out. This is just like EPs and mixtapes and stuff. Like you got to give them time to like evolve and expand. Because again, like I say, when I look at when you listen to these guys' music, they're talking about the same thing. All of them. It's just different voices. Whether it's auto tune, hardcore rap, whether it's whatever. You talking about the same thing. How much money you got? Holding money up whatever, dancing. You're talking about the same thing. It Nothing different. It repeats itself over and over again. It's all it do is culture.